Hello everyone. Hope you have all gone through the previous series of the YouTube. Today we will see something very interesting. Often we don't know how to do it. That is superscript, subscript, bullets and numbering. Now you will be wondering what is superscript. Superscript is a text that is written above the text line. If we want to type 100 degree centigrade, the zero should come above the base line. We can select it and click on superscript. There is a shortcut key which you can see in the scrolling bar. This is called as a superscript. Now we will try subscript. We will try writing the text below the base line. If I want to write x to the base of 2. So we have to select it. And once selected, I can click on subscript. We have the shortcut key for this. You can see in the scrolling bar. This is what is called as a subscript. We can cancel the superscript as well as subscript by clicking on the icons in the toolbar. Now we will see what is bullet. Bullet that is written as an important point. If I want to mention various parts of a computer, I click on bullet. So you can see the icon coming over there and I can start typing over in this icon. We will type the bullet points and then we will press the enter. If I want to make sub points, I press the tab key. If you want to make the main point, we can press shift and tab. We can even change the bullet styles, select the text, click on the bullets, we find various bullet styles, click on the style that you will want and it will be implemented. We can also use numbering pattern instead of the bullet pattern. I type various parts of the body and I use the numbering pattern. Click on the numbering. I type it and if, if I want to make a sub point of hand, I click on tab and we will get the sub points. If I want to go to the main point, I click shift and tab. If I want to change the line spacing, select the text and click on line spacing. We have various line spacing over here, 1.0, 1.15, 1 1.5. So I, we can select any line spacing. So it, we can see the space between the line changes. We can change the left margin of the typed numbering list or the bullet list. Select it. Click on the left intent bar on the ruler. Drag it. So you will see that it moves to the desired location. Select the sub points. Click on the intent bar on the ruler. Drag it, you will see it moves. Even for the bullets, you can do the same thing. Select it, change the left intent bar to a suitable position. You will see that it changes. Now you have learned how to include superscript, subscript, bullets, and numbering. 